Good morning, Southwest Florida. I'm Hannah Wallace. This Naples Herald Morning Report is brought to you by RP2 USA, the only local Google Premier partner in Southwest Florida. This morning, we'll tell you about an arrest made in Missouri, car burglaries in Fort Myers, and more. Today is Wednesday, August 9th, and this is the Morning Report. Ian McCarthy, a man charged in the shooting death of a Western Missouri police officer, has been arrested after an alert driver provided a tip that the fugitive was wandering within miles of where the killing took place. The arrest ended a two-day manhunt that after 37-year-old Clinton police officer Gary Michael was shot to death during a traffic stop Sunday night in Clinton, about 75 miles southeast of Kansas City. Michael and McCarthy had exchanged gunfire before the officer died and the driver fled. Sergeant Bill Lowe of the Missouri Highway Patrol said 39-year-old McCarthy was suffering from a gunshot wound when a patrol trooper arrested him. McCarthy was taken to a Kansas City area hospital for treatment and then he was taken into custody at the Henry County Jail. For more on this story, go to naplesherald.com. Lee County Sheriff's deputies have taken three teens into custody in connection with a string of car burglaries following an investigation by the LCSO's Central Criminal Investigation Division. According to deputies, several weeks of surveillance led to a traffic stop on August 5th during which they arrested a 16- and 17-year-old. The next day, during a separate traffic stop, 18-year-old Nathaniel William Buckner was also arrested. After interviewing all three suspects, deputies said the three were involved in numerous vehicle burglaries in the Fort Myers area. For more on this, go to leeherald.com. Bonita Springs-based Herc Rentals posted wider losses in the second quarter due to write-offs of old information technology system development. It started while still part of Hertz, the company announced on Tuesday. In its quarterly earning report, Herc wrote off $26.2 million in investment and development into new financial and point-of-sales system, abandoning a project which began before it spun off into its own company, part of the total $29.3 million in write-offs. The company posted a net loss of $27.6 million in the second quarter, up from an $8 million loss in 2016. Herc saw rental revenues increase by 7% to $350.8 million, up from $327.9 million in 2016, and posted total revenues of $415.8 million. The boost came thanks in part to being able to command better prices on their rental equipment, up 1.4%. For more on this story, go to NaplesHerald.com. And that was the Morning Report for today. I'm Hannah Wallace. The Morning Report airs Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our lunch break that also airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.